Welcome everybody to today's episode of Facts from the Field. Happy to be coming back to you guys in a peanut field. This is an exciting time and growing peanuts in the state of Georgia right now. We're anywhere between 35 to, to 65 days after planting, depending on what the soil moisture was and what your, your environmental conditions were whenever you actually got to plant. And so we're seeing a lot of variation in, from field to field right now. But overall, these peanuts look really good. These are about 60 days after they planted. Uh, and what we're starting to see is peanuts form. So you can kind of remember from us discussing things last year, these are called pods. Uh, these are called pegs, which end up turning into pods. And there's actual peanut seeds inside the pods themselves, as you guys very well know. But these are uh, spread out. Some people call these vines. And right now, there's a lot of competition because the vines are growing pretty fast. Obviously, we start seeing reproductive structures out here with the plant. So there's competition and what we need to do at roughly 60 days to 90 days, we're gonna start seeing these vines lap. But what we also see is a lot of fruit formation in the, in the, the way of pods and pegs and seed development. So there's competition between vines and seeds and pods right now. Uh, a lot of folks will look at a uh, growth regulator to control vine vigor. So, but what we wanna do on a nutritional front is control the flow. And what I mean by that is we have calcium in the pegging zone that's solubilizing at this time. Uh, usually folks around bloom 30 to 45 days after planting will do a gypsum or a calcium sulfate land plaster application. And that will break down in the soil in the pegging zone and the pegs will be able to access that. Well, along with that, they need to continue to drive water and other nutrients to develop that seed and develop that pod and that peg at this time. Over the next 30 days, we're gonna be looking at boron as a tool to do that. Boron is a great nutrient that does help control the flow of sugars, water, and other nutrients into the fruiting structures. Not only that, they're gonna help convert some of these yellow flowers that you see right here into additional fruiting structures. So obviously, a peanut plant will make a lot more pods than this, which you see here. And what we wanna do is continue that pod development and set more peanuts on every plant. So boron can help us do that. And we also like to go a step further at TMAC Agro. We use our boron in our Fertileader package with the C-Active Complex technology to really keep the stress off the plant and really help move and control the flow even more to these fruiting structures, these pods, and these pegs. So thank you guys for learning a little bit more about boron and peanut production. And thank you guys for eating more peanuts and more peanut butter. And y'all have a great day.